January. Um, we had a total of, according to the count, um, 4,655 people uh, considered homeless. Um, now, as we all know, that's probably understated by quite a bit. Um, of those, 1,718 were unsheltered, that is, sleeping outside in January in Portland. Um, there are, according to the, according to the report, the uh, analysis showed that an estimated, is an estimate of probably four times that many people who are doubled up, couch surfing, that kind of thing. Um, in other words, don't really have a place to live, but they have a place to stay that isn't a shelter. Four times as many, yeah. Um, <clears throat> and there's no translator, right? So I can talk fast. <laughs> um, uh, that, those numbers represented an 8% increase over the uh, 2009 count. And um, of those people, a full 50% of them had uh, a disabling condition. Of some sort, some sort or another, mental, physical, both. <coughs> uh, more than half of those people were homeless in 2009, um, and still homeless in 2011. And 35% uh, of them were women um, affected by domestic violence. So that's just kind of like a tiny snapshot of the situation. Um, <coughs> So Portland's response to that uh, has been to consolidate the, um, all the different sort of housing initiatives that the city undertakes into what is a new, a new creation called the Portland Housing Bureau. Um, the Portland Housing Bureau sort of oversees all the housing efforts that the city makes, including, um, well, I wouldn't say they necessarily oversee Dignity Village, but they actually do have somebody who goes out to Dignity Village. Um, and the idea behind that was to sort of, well, save money, because they actually did lay off, ended up laying off a lot of people. Um, and, and also just to kind of make more targeted partnerships. They, tar they, they partner a lot with a whole lot of mess of nonprofits that get money from the government to house people, transitional housing, emergency shelters, uh, warming centers, that kind of thing. Um, they also built a, a new um, resource access center called the Bud, Bud Clark Commons that just opened in June. Um, it was a $50 million project. This being Portland, it was, uh, it's green. It's, <laughs> um, yeah. it's got uh, solar panels on the roof and, you know, Gray water system and all that kind of stuff, um, and the uh, the building is I don't even sure how many stories it is, but there's 130 apartments in the building studios, and they um, they're specifically using a formula from Seattle that um, that that actually tries to find the most vulnerable people on the street, like basically the people who've been on the street the longest, the people who have chronic conditions people who aren't managing those chronic conditions very well, people who are at most risk of dying. I was one of those. Soon. And here we have. <laughs> are you living now? I'm inside now, courtesy of Join. Uh, but are you, oh, so you're not living at Commons? No, I'm at, oh, okay. I'm at an apartment. <coughs> okay, um, so, and then the other portion of, the, well, there's also, there's also a 90-bed uh, transitional housing shelter in that building um, that's down, sort of in the basement. And then, and then the other part of it, which is really sort of the, the cornerstone of what Portland, the city of Portland is trying to do to address homelessness issues, is called a, it's called a resource access center. And that's a place that uh, anybody can go to. Um, they have access to computers. They have case managers. They have haircuts. They have laundry. They have storage lockers. Um, they even have a place to store your shopping cart. They have a shopping cart storage, yep. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> the idea is to try and attract people to, to come there and then try to work with people to get them into housing. Um, of course, the biggest problem that Portland faces and probably every other city faces is that there isn't enough housing. There isn't enough actual housing. Um, and in Portland, we're 
really facing kind of a crisis coming up. It hasn't hit yet exactly, but um, as of, I think as of next year, the Portland Housing Bureau's budget plunges $16 million. And um, from fiscal year, the, the budget in fiscal year 2010 and 11 is 108 million. The projected budget in fiscal year 2015 and 16 will be 43 million. So it's going to drop by more than half. This is all. This is all the money that the city has to actually spend on homeless. And the reason, the biggest reason for that drop, is that um, loss of federal funds, of course. But also, one of the primary ways that we've been financing um, affordable housing in Portland is through tax increment financing, which is um, Portland's really big on this urban renewal kind of stuff, where they create these districts and then they freeze the tax base, and they take out all kinds of loans and stuff, and then, and then the, and, and build services and stuff within those districts, and help businesses start within those districts, and build affordable housing within those districts. And all the um, money that's, that, that, that comes from where they froze the tax base to how the, the tax revenue goes up, that's called tax increment financing. All that, a lot of that money has been flowing into the funding of affordable housing. But all those, almost all the urban renewal districts are expiring over the next five years. So all that money is going to go away. And the, um, the general fund, the city's general fund, um, they've already sort of upped, gradually been trying to up the amount that they, that they spend on housing. But Portland doesn't have that kind of money. I mean, no, no city does in and of itself. I mean, we need federal dollars um, to make this up. Or the other, the other thing that's that's on the table, although it's not, I haven't completely decided whether they're going to push for it, is a housing levy. Housing levy would be like what Seattle did, where they actually took it to the voters and they passed. Um, I don't even know how much it was, how much the housing levy is, and, and I don't even know how much they're talking about in Portland. But it would be a property tax assessment. So every property owner in Portland would. Uh, as part of their tax bill would include this, oh, okay, two minutes, include this housing levy. So that's kind of the situation. So 